in a flat sharing two toilets and one kitchen in a halls of residence. It's overcrowding. Wow, Magnus, that's interesting. 12 people in a flat. Are you talking about halls of residence? Because that's not my experience. That might be a student flat, but not, uh, no, no, that's not my experience there, Magnus. How very interesting. Yes. Um, Welly Song. Discord's the new Skype, my friend, did a Zoom from their parents' house in Hillsborough instead of the basin and wardrobe in Aberdeen. <laughs> I am I'm looking into that. So you think that's the new Skype? Well, not you think, you know. That's the new Skype Welly Song. How very, very interesting. Uni is over Zoom, says Welly Song. Yes, and I'm going to look at that as well. We might... Uh, do a bit of chatting there. So are you talking Discord and Zoom or Zoom uh, through Discord? Is that what you're telling me about? A yeoman means a servant, does it not, Scotty? Yes, if you're good, yeoman stop. And yes, I mean the Tower of London beef eaters, not the, the gin or the restaurants. <laughs> Thank you. Just done a wee ad for the there, Robert. Very good. Scotty, I was watching uh, the Reverend I Am Jolly, the one with David Heyman in it. So funny. Now, Eddie Doyle, is that the Reverend I Am Jolly or is that the, the Reverend David Goodchild? Is that the very first one? Check that out for me. Because just before Ricky, Ricky Fulton... Uh, before Ricky started doing the Reverend I Am Jolly, he did a Church of Scotland minister, and I think it was the Reverend David Goodchild, and it was an outstanding performance. He was just the kind of guy you could have seen in a Church of Scotland on a Sunday morning or coming round to your house with the communion cards to pay a pastoral visit, put up a prayer, the rest of it. So have a look at that. David, I think, was David playing the floor manager in it? <clears throat> the Reverend I am Jolly with Ricky Fulton, Scotty. Yes, indeed. So uh, check that one out for me. Did beef eaters protect the king's food? I think... Wait a minute. Did beef eaters protect the king's food? I think I heard this somewhere. They may have the beef eaters, so they may have tasted the food in case somebody had poisoned the king's food. So there are some very dodgy people around, I say. Uh, the one with David Heyman, I'm talking about the Reverend got drunk in it. Yes. Now check that out. I think you'll see it on YouTube. And tell me if it's the Reverend I am jolly or if it's the Reverend David Goodchild, in other words, the forerunner of the Reverend I Am Jolly, because these Ricky Fulton Scotch and Rye programs were outstandingly good. And do you remember when Mark McManus appeared as Taggart and uh, Ricky did his uh, super cop, <laughs> the motorcyclist? <laughs> and when Ricky died... Kate asked, I think, Kate, his wife, Kate Matheson, lovely, lovely lady, asked um, the police if they might pr provide a, um, a motorcycle. I can't remember how it went. If she'd asked or they'd suggested. Anyway, what happened was Ricky's cortege was accompanied by outriders from uh, Glasgow Police Motorcycle Division. So there we are. <coughs> Absolutely amazing. Wonderful man. Uh, Scotch and Rye was hilarious, Craig Cochran. It really was. It was very clever and very, very funny. And Ricky was an outstanding actor. Very good. And, of course, Jack Mulroy, his um, his partner in Francie and Josie, another outstanding actor. And they were lovely guys. Very nice men. Wow, well, Scotty, you know your stuff? It says, last call with the Reverend David Goodchild. It was a send-up of Late Call on STV, right, on Scottish television at night because I used to introduce it. And at night you had a Late Call and that would come a priest or a minister or a vicar or a whatever, a person of religion, a, a, a person of the cloth and do a wee thought for the evening 
Very, very nice. And uh, I think I maybe told you 